Hello children, welcome for today's biology class. So today we are going to take the TS of stem that is monocot. This is monocot stem, this is dicot stem. The both are fresh stems I have taken. So we are going to take TS of the stems and we are going to observe under microscope after staining with the help of safranin. Safranin is the stain we are going to use here. So for this purpose the materials required are the stem cuttings, microscope, safranin, glycerin, blotting paper, cover slips, slides, brush, forceps, needles and blade for making the cutting and water for washing the excess stem. So now let us start with the practicals. First children, you keep a drop of water upon the slide. Then later we can do the cutting. The thin slice, no, it has to be taken. It has to be in a full circular form. Okay. Can you see? I have taken the cutting. And it has to be placed upon the slide where you have kept the water. Okay, so now it has to be stained. For staining, we are using safranin. Safranin to be added in the slide. Now add one drop of safranin on the section what we have taken. Okay. Can you see children? I have added a drop of safranin. The cutting, no, it has to be immersed inside the stain fully. So if it is not inside the stain, so then the patches of staining will occur. So that's why with the help of brush, slowly you spread the stain upon the cutting. So can you see, this is the cutting we have taken. It has been stained fully. Now we can clean the safranin with the help of water. Then we can observe under microscope. Now it is going to be washed in water. So now we can add the water drop by drop and we can wash it and the stain it has to be removed fully ok it has to be clean then only it can be observed clearly under microscope. Now slowly you can add water now it is washed fully can you observe children it has been washed fully with the help of water. Now. The cutting is ready. We can add some glycerin upon the cutting. It prevents from drying. Okay. I have added one drop of glycerin. Now we can put the cover slip. For putting the cover slip, I already told you how to put. So you have to hold the cover slip between your index finger and the thumb finger. And slowly you put the cover slip. By using the needle, put the cover slip. The excess glycerin it can be absorbed with the help of blotting paper. Now the slide is ready it can be absorbed under microscope. It has been kept under dissecting microscope children. So can you observe small small dot like structures they are only the vascular bundles. So here the vascular bundles are scattered in monocot stem the typical feature is scattered vascular bundle. Here you cannot distinguish with. So this is the diagrammatic view of the monocot stem. So here also you can see clearly the dispersed vascular bundles. So the distinguishing features of monocot stem is the ground tissue here it is undifferentiated. Vascular bundles are oval in shape, numerous and are scattered in the ground tissue. Here the peripheral vascular bundles are generally smaller in size comparing to the centrally located ones. So here the vascular bundles are conjoint means xylem towards one side, phloem towards other side and closed. There is no cambium present. By scattered vascular bundle we can easily distinguish a monocot stem from dicot stem. Hope you must have understood children. Thank you.